great night uh, so far. So, at uh, at 24, I uh, eight months after after meeting my uh, my new best friend, my first best friend, Jody, I proposed uh, while she was on the toilet. <laughs> Now that might not sound romantic, but we had a long, we had a tender, loving, running gag uh, where I would say I love you anytime she made a sissy. Uh, she loved the word sissy, and uh, hearing it just just lit her up. And uh, so I got on down on one knee, and I proposed with a poem while she was on the toilet, and, uh, and she agreed to marry me. Uh, and then we had a huge fight. She realized I didn't have a ring. I, I didn't know I had to have a ring right away, but it was her birthday. And I knew she really expected me to propose, and her family expected me to propose, and everybody at work expected me to propose. And I really didn't want to disappoint her. Um, so, you know, uh, she's like, how can I tell people I I'm, in I'm engaged, Paul, if I don't have a ring? So the next day I went out and I bought a $600 uh, pawn uh, store <laughs> diamond ring. And, uh, uh, well, from the moment that we, we got in 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 engaged, we became uh, enemies. Uh, and um, but up until that point, Jody uh, really opened up my life. Until until I met Jody, for six years I had not dated uh, since high school. Since my high school girlfriend got pregnant and gave our baby up for adoption. Uh, and with Jody, Jody was the first one I shared this with. Uh, my shame, and she gave me understanding, compassion. And uh, she opened up my life again. She gave me, uh, I had, uh, you know, love again. I had romance again, sex again. Um, uh, um, and, uh, oh, about a few months after we got, uh, we got engaged, Jody was working on the road. She had a, uh, working out of town for six weeks, and she had an affair. And I was hurt and relief. I wasn't ready to be married. I suggested we postpone the wedding. Jody said we couldn't. Uh, her parents had already put down a deposit. So, okay. <laughs> but I wasn't really committed. I was, I was about to sow uh, the last of my own unmarried oats with an old friend, Cindy. <laughs> but Cindy had just taken this weekend course called EST and it changed her life, transformed her, her fear of commitment. So I signed up and uh, EST uh, just, just blew my mind. 200 people, right, just sharing, uh, uh, pouring their, their hearts out, every devastation, right, falling upon the most sympathetic ears. And, and uh, you know, we learned how fear keeps us from living fully. And, and, uh, and how we go from one relationship to another, expecting something different. So I committed to Jody. She was ecstatic. For our honeymoon, to improve our intimacy, we took a six-day EST intensive course uh, with 100 strangers. Uh, and uh, we, we revealed everything. We revealed everything. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just... Uh, uh, well, one uh, one session was was about sexual secrets. Who's never, uh, who's had a, a gay experience? And I stood up. I had an encounter with a with a transsexual, and someone said, "That's not gay. You were tricked." I said, "Well, I liked it." <laughs> and I went back. And then they asked a question I found so odd. Who's never, uh, who's never had an orgasm? And my wife stood up. <laughs> that was our honeymoon. <laughs> and I loved it. I loved it. And we kept taking escorts because marriage was really fucking difficult. <laughs> and and, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we, we, kept, we kept arguing 
You know, uh, I, like, I, first of all, I, I couldn't say no to anything that Jody wanted. All right, right, anything she wanted, I would say. To, uh, she hated walking her dog in the morning. I walked her dog in the morning. I hated it. I hated her for having me walk the dog in the morning. You know, and um, and uh, but uh, finally, um, you know, I, I said, why don't we separate? We, we keep, you know, and she said no. <laughs> okay. So nine months into the relationship, I I had a one night stand. And I told Jody right away. Six, uh, uh, six months later, I had another one night stand. I told Jody right away. Telling Jody right away was the closest I could get to being honest. Uh, and then finally, uh, Jody uh, met, left me for another man. And uh, I was devastated. But, uh, but, I, but I learned this. I, uh, I was so dependent on Jody, I couldn't love her. I resented her, and uh, and uh, avoiding doing what's right for me when it might hurt somebody else only leads to more misery. And I learned this about pain and devastation. I've learned to welcome it, right? I've learned to welcome disillusionment. It actually cracks me open, so the light can come through. Being doing what. Doing what I, well, anyway, <laughs> I got uh, to, and here's the other thing that I learned. Um, if you're proposing to a woman on the toilet, that's pretty indicative of where things are going. 